Of course, uh, having come from Switzerland, uh, I uh, knew the art of Jean Tangeli, who had built the wonderful machines that would have a chaotic kinetic movement and and be artistical and inspiring and fun and and I decided that I would try to build some sculptures so I first recuperated on an old farm a huge metal ring and I put some neon into it and I built the, 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 one of my first sculptures called Cossack Man of uh, Ventura. Uh, it left to a Swiss art collection uh, where it's still today and then uh, in the south of France I wanted to learn how to make uh, sculptures from new metal and I had to learn how to weld and cut metal and cut new metal sheets and and so uh, I finally went to a place uh, in, a, in a little uh, plumbery place uh, I finally said to somebody listen does anybody here know anyone in the surroundings uh, that knows how to, to weld and, and, and cut metal and uh, and then somebody said well you know in Saint Andiol about a half a kilometer from here I know a man uh, he has some very strange thing standing in the garden and I said well could could you bring me to this man and so we we drove there on a motorcycle and he dropped me off and I looked in the garden and what he called strange and uh, mystic creatures uh, were wonderful geometrical sculptures by a Greek sculptor called Costa Kunontianos, um, who I met there. And uh, on the first moment we met, uh, I said, "Listen, could you teach me how to uh, cut metal and weld and build sculptures?" And he said, "Of course I could." And I said, "Well, when can I come?" And he said, "Well, listen, uh, you can start right now." So I said, "Well, listen, I have to go back home and." Uh, and close my house and I'll be there in a half an hour and I start working. So already 10 o'clock in the morning I was at work cutting metal and uh, beginning to drill metal and weld metal together and and I enjoyed very much learning how to to sculpt from Costa where I spent uh, roughly two and a half years being an assistant to him learning how to sculpt and I actually participated in uh, in, in executing some of the sculptures that are today in museums and in the Centre Pompidou and in Athens. And uh, I uh, was also very inspired by his beautiful wife, who was quite a bit younger than him. She uh, always uh, wore these uh, dresses up to her hips and uh, she had a type of a corn on the head. And I drew for my exhibit in, uh, in the south of France in Nice I drew actually a wonderful painting of hers who is also in a private collection today.